related all over the place. And I don't think energy ever goes away. If, if energy is in life, it'll, it'll possibly be transferred to another life or a different kind of life. The, sun, the Hindus believe that the hidden energy, that the human energy is transferred. So please don't eat the animals. <laughs> Yeah, but to go back to my question, Dad, if, if you were going to come back as energy in some way, okay, you said something something lively, like a samba, or an animal? Yeah, or even... Or language? I don't know if that would count. Even an unknown thing. Any animals? Like, like, like the Egyptians. They said, when you die, you go to another world. Yeah. And they thought they knew what, what the, the great spirit or the dead person would need in the next life. They fill those tombs and all those Egyptian pyramids are full of stuff, canoes and things that they need in the next life. How do they know they need them in the next life? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I, reading about uh, and watching the programs about the people in her, uh, examining the contents of the, the pyramids, and they're saying these, these Egyptians really thought they knew all about the next life. Yeah. It's written on the walls. It's written on the walls, all their symbols. And it tells you what's going to happen in the next life. Would you want to come back as a human? Catholics do that too. They think they know what's going to happen in the next life. Yeah. And if, you, if you're a good, good person and you behave yourself, you go to heaven. And if you're a bad person and you don't behave yourself and you do bad things and you don't obey Jesus' commandments, then you're going to hell. <laughs> like, like your mother tells everybody on the phone, go straight to hell, go to hell. Right. Well, if you had to come yeah. back, if you had the choice to come back as a human or as an animal, what would you pick? Well, to me, mathematics is the key to everything. And I see uh, understanding mathematics is the greatest thing I have. Uh, the fact that I have been able to succeed in many ways and been respected in many ways, starting even starting in grade school, was not because I could do anything in particular, but simply that I could see things mathematically. I could uh, evaluate, uh, for example, energy. I see energy as something that is transferred by an equation. And I see equations, I can read equations, I can see artificial intelligence as a, as a form of intelligence which is being transferred by code. By writing software, uh, we, we're doing something that the brain does, um, and artificial intelligence, they call it artificial intelligence because they copy the structure of the brain. The structure of the brain is just like that. Mm -hmm. That the neurons carry messages, like just like uh, lines of code carry messages in software. The neurons carry it from one instruction to another. So the neurons, except where there is a place where the neuron stops and transfers what it was carrying to another neuron. And so I see that as a continuity of, of energy going, you know, somewhere by, and mathematically. And Einstein and other people in science, somebody said, what is God? If God does not exist, uh, then we'd better stop going to church or synagogue or whatever. And he said, or somebody said, it wasn't, maybe it wasn't Einstein, maybe it was Schopenhauer, that mathematics is life and life is mathematics. And it's not just mathematics, it's God. The mathematics is God's expression. If you want to, if you want to understand why things are the way they are, and they are mathematically correct, you are looking at God. You're looking at God. God created it. God created the universe in a very mathematical way, and that's why Einstein could write down the theory of relativity, uh, general relativity, and, and special relativity. It's all laws of nature. Laws of nature, which are laws of God's commandments, which is the structure of God is written right. in mathematics. Right. And he's not the only one. A lot of scientists believe, well, if I can say the greatest gift I have, and what I can look at anything mathematically, I can write an equation for practically anything. 
That's a gift. That's a gift. I, 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 all through life, I've been able to go where I wanted, do what I wanted, meet people I wanted, and, and get respect. And all of those things I wanted, strictly, I believe, because I could see it all mathematically. Hmm. Now, that was a gift, and I don't know who gave me that gift. I wouldn't say it began with my parents, although it might have been transferred to me by my parents. And I think that you have learned something. If something has been transferred to you, and you're transferring something to your daughter. Right. And I think something also is transferred. Uh, in Brendan's family, something is transferred to him. But it's not necessarily uh, mathematical symbols. Language is also mathematical to me. The, the uh, symbols are written down in a certain way, and they result in other symbols. And, uh, and of course, the Chinese is more obvious than what the symbols are. They represent things, whereas our, our alphabet and our words don't, don't resemble anything. They don't resemble things, but they, because we teach children language, and we, or we can rearrange the, the symbols to, to mean different words, and yet we can have more words, I think, than, than the Chinese have symbols, although I don't know. I could, but anyway, to me, it's, it's just like math. And hmm. somebody taught me, and I think it was my sister Jenny, honestly. I really think my greatest teacher was my sister Jenny. And, uh, and Norma was crying and didn't want to talk about the, the Jenny dying because Jenny, uh, even though Norma was older, Jenny seemed to be, but Jenny, her, her life was terror, terrible. She couldn't understand any of the things she taught me. I mean, she was telling me things that she should have followed those rules herself. You know, and all, having all those boyfriends and, 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 and doing all that thing and drinking so heavily. I didn't, when Ginny killed herself, and mostly because she it was drinking on, with an, a cancer in her stomach. Uh, I thought that was terrible. Norma thought that. Norma didn't want to even talk about it. Norma was so shocked, was so horrified that her sister, her, her lovely sister Jenny, is, had done some things that destroyed herself. Why did she go to the bar in, uh, in Oklahoma and meet that jerk? Who, who, you know, maybe he was, a, you know, needed, maybe 